With these can-do videos, you'll see real-life situations where you have to introduce yourself, talk about your family, or give your contact information. So, by the end, you can do them yourself in Italian. This video is a small portion of our can-do course. To get the full course, including translations, grammar tools, and assessment tests, click the link in the description. Welcome to Can Do Italian by ItalianPod101.com. Ciao a tutti! Sono Felice Angelini. Hi everyone! I'm Felice Angelini. In this lesson, you learn how to talk about your nationality in Italian. This is Patrizia Palmieri. She's on a plane, seated next to Emily Erba. Miss Palmieri is reading an Italian magazine. And Miss Erba asks, are you Italian? Sei italiana. Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Ready? Sei italiana. Sì, si, sono italiana. Once more with the English translation. Sei italiana. Are you Italian? Sì, si, sono italiana. Yes. I'm Italian. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Miss Erba asks, Are you Italian? Sei italiana. First is. Sei. You are. Sei. Sei. Note. Sei. Is a shortened form of. Tu sei. You are. In Italian. Tu. You can be omitted when it is understood from context. Sei. Is from the verb essere, meaning to be. Essere. After this is italiana. Italian. Italiana. Italiana. Note. Italiana. Is feminine. Miss Erba uses a feminine adjective. Italiana. To refer to Miss Palmieri. If Miss Erba was referring to a male, she would use the masculine adjective Italiano to refer to him, as in Sei Italiano? Are you Italian? Sei Italiano? Altogether Sei Italiana? Are you Italian? Sei Italiana? Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Patrizia Palmieri says, Yes, I'm Italian. Sì, si, sono italiana. Sì, si, sono italiana. This starts with the expression Sì. Si. Meaning, yes. Sì. Si. Si. It answers Miss Erba's yes or no question. Are you Italian? Sei italiana? Next is Sono. I am. Sono. Sono. Note in this sentence Sono is a shortened form of Io sono. I am. In Italian Io. I is usually omitted as is understood from context. Sono. 
is from the verb essere, meaning to be. Essere. After this is italiana. Italian. Italiana. Altogether. Sì, sono italiana. Yes, I'm Italian. Sì, sono italiana. The pattern is Sono nationality. I'm nationality. Sono nationality. Simply replace the nationality placeholder with your nationality. Note the placeholder is an adjective and its gender will depend on the speaker, in this case, you. Imagine you're Miss Erba and you're American. The word for an American woman is Americana. 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 Say, I'm American. Ready? Sono Americana. I'm American. Sono Americana. In the conversation, the response to the yes-no question was yes. In case the answer was no, the corresponding Italian response would be no, meaning no, no, no. For example, if Miss Palmieri was asked, Sei Americana? Are you American? She could have answered, No, sono Italiana. No, I'm Italian. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. Sono Italiana. Sono Italiana. Sono Americana. Sono Americana. Sono Australiana. Sono Australiana. Sono Inglese. Sono Inglese. Non sono giapponese, sono cinese. Non sono giapponese, sono cinese. Did you notice how the last speaker uses a different pattern? Non sono giapponese, sono cinese. I'm not Japanese, I'm Chinese. First is non, not, non, non. Next is sono, I am, sono. Together it's non sono. Literally, not I am, but it translates as I'm not. Non sono. Next is Giapponese. Japanese. Giapponese. Giapponese. Note. Giapponese. Ends in E. And it can refer to either a female or a male. Altogether. Non sono giapponese. I'm not Japanese. Non sono giapponese. Jing Lu then states her actual nationality. Sono cinese. I'm Chinese. Sono cinese. First, sono. I am. Sono. Next is cinese. Chinese. Cinese. Cinese. Note. Cinese. Ends in e and can refer to either a female or a male. 
together. Sono cinese. I'm Chinese. Sono cinese. All together? Non sono giapponese, sono cinese. I'm not Japanese, I'm Chinese. Non sono giapponese, sono cinese. This pattern is Non sono nationality. Sono actual nationality. I'm not nationality, I'm actual nationality. This can be shortened to No, sono cinese. No, I'm Chinese. No, sono cinese. The pattern is No, sono actual nationality. No, I'm actual nationality. Remember this shortened pattern. You'll need it for the practice section. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our Can Do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's review the key vocabulary. Italian. Italiano. Italiano. Italiana. Italiana. American. Americano. Americano. Americana. Americana. Australian. Australiano. Australiano. Australiana. Australiana. Inglese. British. Inglese. Inglese. Note, in Italian, this word in a strict sense means English, but it's widely used to mean British. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say yes? Sì. Sì. Do you remember the word for an Italian woman? Italiana. Italiana. And how Miss Palmieri says, yes, I'm Italian. Sì, sono italiana. Sì, sono italiana. Do you remember how Miss Erba asks, Are you Italian? Sei italiana. Sei italiana? Do you remember the word for a British man? Inglese. Inglese. And the word for an Australian woman? Australiana. Australiana. Do you remember the word for an American woman? Americana. Americana. And how to say no? No. 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 
Let's practice. Imagine you're Isabella Russo and you're American. Respond to the question. Ready? Say Americana. Sí, sono americana. Listen again and repeat. Sí, sono americana. Sí, sono americana. Let's try another. Imagine you're Mia Martin, a student from Australia. Pay attention to the nationality in the question. Ready? Say inglese. No, sono australiana. Listen again and repeat. No, sono australiana. No, sono australiana. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Jack Jones, a student from England. Ready? Say inglese. Sì, sono inglese. Listen again and repeat. Sì, sono inglese. Sì, sono inglese. In Italian, nationality adjectives are always written with a lowercase letter. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Now you know how to talk about your nationality in Italian. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson.